Patients that uh, come to see us are the most well-informed patients I've ever taken care of. That carries over into the post-operative period where by their own measure they see improvement uh, in their quality of life, the time they spend with their children and grandchildren. They see it and can tell by their own measure that there's an improvement in their overall health. And, and because of that, they are very thankful and the interaction with them uh, over time is, is really nice. The um, improvement in the stories that they tell, uh, that is to say the time that patients spend with their children and grandchildren, we get different stories after surgery than the ones that they had before surgery because they can spend more time and they can uh, uh, engage in, in more activities. There was a patient I had who, uh, who had moved to the United States from Lebanon and she had been here living with her children for a couple of decades, but she had not returned to Lebanon because travel was not possible for her because of her obesity. She lost well over 185 pounds, and then uh, after she had hit some milestone, she decided to return to Lebanon. She didn't think she was ever gonna be able to return and see family. Well, she was ecstatic that she got to go visit family that she didn't think she was ever gonna see again. I chose to go into medicine um, out of high school. I made the decision then that I was going to go to medical school. And, it, the, and I didn't know what a doctor did really, but it, it was in science and it also uh, worked with people and I know, knew that I wanted to do both. So I ended up just pursuing one sort of hill after another, uh, going first through college to get into medical school, then medical school to, to get into a residency. And then when I got into residency, it was clear that, that that was the right choice for me and I was lucky in that I ended up doing what I'm supposed to be doing.